Okay, now we're going to go through some examples, and as we go through these, really, you should um, pause the video and try to work them yourself before you look at the solutions. Uh, these clicker questions are also available online for you to answer. Okay, in this example, hopefully you recognize that there are two chiral centers. And on first glance, there doesn't appear to be any plane of symmetry, so you're probably tempted to want to say it's chiral. But remember from our discussion of conformations and conformational analysis that there's free rotation around single bonds. And if I take this carbon and rotate it down into the plane. Essentially I'm going to rotate it so that it's about right here. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to rotate that down to here. There's that carbon. All right, at my first chiral center, nothing changed. But at the second, rotating that methyl down 180 degrees brings this OH from the back to out. If we look at this now, you can see there is a plane of symmetry. For that reason, it's an achiral meso compound. So what you want to do is look to see if you can find any conformation where there's symmetry. Right, this one is a good one to look at with a molecular model. So here's the molecular model of this compound looking at the four carbons that are in the plane of the page, which is what we have right here. Here's the OH pointed out toward you. Here in the back is the OH pointed away from you. If I take this carbon here and rotate it down, now if you look at this, you can see the plane of symmetry in this molecule. I have two equal halves. Right, if you're having any trouble seeing that, you can build the molecule yourself and prove that.